Hey guys, going to be installing the PBX software on my uh, PBX server. Let's get started. Alright, so I downloaded a piece of software called PBX in a Flash, and this contains uh, a Linux operating system called CentOS and a um, uh, PBX software called Incredible PBX. And I'm going to go ahead and do the install, and right off the bat I want to tell you that I'm not an expert by any means, so, um, and I do know that this takes some time, so I'll try and film, you know, what I think is pertinent, and if it doesn't come out to what I like, uh, then I'll um, then I'll let you know, <laughs> uh, and then I'll also try and link a couple of videos or a couple of good areas where you can get some information about how to do this on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, a default installation, and um, you can go to uh, software comes down as an ISO and then you can just burn a CD and just poop from the CD. Um, two things that were warnings that I read about the software. Number one is before you do this you want to make sure that your uh, date and time setting on your PC are set correctly and you also want to make sure that, you have, um, that you're connected to the internet because this will actually go off and download uh, updates and software from, um, uh, from the internet. So uh, definitely make sure that those two things are all set. Uh, and then the other warning here is that um, this will wipe out every drive that's connected to your computer and if I, if I remember correctly it will actually will wipe out any attached storage so like a USB thumb drive or any extra hard drives or whatever so you definitely want to make sure that you're not um, that you don't have anything connected here that you don't want to get erased so um, I'm in New York so I'm gonna make that my uh, location here. Uh, the other thing, I'm gonna grab a pen and paper and I'm gonna keep track of what my passwords are. So just give me a sec here. Alright, so I do have my pencil and paper and security um, has to be priority on a system like this. So. You definitely want to have some strong passwords and you want to keep track of what you're using so that uh, if you ever do need to come in and admin stuff on the box you can actually get in um, but you want to have a strong strong password so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in my password and then I'm also gonna keep track of that alright now in the video uh, when I put this together I'll actually cut all the dead spots out so it'll probably be it'll look like it installed a lot faster than it really did but um, I'll try and keep track of uh, how long it takes but I think uh, from what I've read it said it was gonna take um, anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour to do the complete install so something to point out also that you want to have uh, before you start this uh, because I'm going to be connecting my home server uh, and using Google Voice uh, to keep track of my number uh, you want to make sure you have your uh, Google Voice number and all that stuff set up first uh, one thing that's recommended which I certainly did is you want to use a brand new Google Voice or, or excuse me a brand new Gmail account uh, that is only known to you and is not used for anything other than your phone. Um, instead of trying to say use like your main Gmail account and trying to use the number there, you most certainly want to get a brand new separate standalone Gmail account that only you know of, uh, that you don't publish anywhere that you're going to use for this. Uh, that will uh, keep things straight. All right, so this says post install or excuse me post installation 
the uh, CD drive just popped open. And it looks like we're rebooting. Okay. Um, legal agreement, yeah, sure. Um, okay. Alright, so this is asking me what color I want to install. So there's PI, PIAF stands for PBX in a flash. So there's PIF purple, PIAF red. So it's asterisk 1.8 and dotty, which is long, and then it's got long term support, and then underneath it is asterisk 10 beta. So what I'm going to do is Well, I was going to do purple, but I don't know what happened there. Let me, uh... Huh. Let me reboot and see what happens. Alright, I'm going for, uh the first entry, P-I-A-F purple and here's where it says I'm going to attempt to download checking for a partially completed or completed download, attempting to download from the mirror and we're downloading that screen flashing that you see is actually happening on the screen. <laughs> it's not because of the video being taken, it's actually happening. So um, we'll come back to this once it's done downloading. And it's going. So tap enter to begin. Um, An appeal for money. Tap enter to continue. First choice is do you want to enable the advanced configuration for asterisk? This is not recommended, so I will not do it. I'm glad you chose to not use this feature. <laughs> okay. Please verify you want to do the following. You want to continue without using uh, make menu config. Tap the Y key to continue or any other key to reset and reselect. So we're going to hit Y. Now we need to choose our time zone. The default is set to America, New York, which is what we picked uh, earlier. Uh, currently, we only support North America, which is where North, <laughs> which is where New York is. So that's okay. So we're gonna hit option number two because it says uh, that's New York. I'm zone to New York, set Y to continue. You have verified your choice is correct now. Continuing. So now it's moving along and doing what it needs to do. Step three of four. Now is to decide what version of free PBX you wish to install on your PBX in a flash server. Uh, I'm going to go with option 2 because I want incredible PBX 3.0. So I'm going to confirm. Okay, so now it's time to create a password that will be used by mate, www.admin, me time, and the ARI. Alright, so basically we need a, a separate password here, so we want to make sure that we pick something very secure. I two eight. Wow, okay. Generate a random or enter my own. I'm gonna enter my own. And and this is actually pretty slick. So it says if you're gonna use your own, it you cannot use the word password admin root 
password or password uh, where the O uh, is replaced by a zero. So you can't use those words which are common, which is actually pretty good. So I know what password I'm going to use. So this just gives me a summary. And I'm going to hit enter to continue. And it's going to go ahead and download some info. And it looks like now that uh, I went through the wizard and provided the info that it needed, it's now sort of going to do the rest uh, automatically. All right, so we'll pause it here. All right, looks like we're done. Uh, there was a little message there that said um, complete, and now the system will reboot. So that's what it's going through right now. And we saw the PBX, excuse me, PIAF, so PBX and a flash uh, splash screen. And we've got what would be like a normal um, boot process. I think that might be complete. I think the rest of the install will require me to um, uh, use the admin page, which is a, just a web page that I can get to internally. I logged in as root and I got presented with this little um, system information menu or, or screen actually and uh, it shows that the uh, the various uh, version levels for the software that was installed as well as the IP address that's currently assigned to this box and I'm gonna make a note of that so that in my firewall I can go ahead and reserve that IP um, and that way uh, you know that that value doesn't change alright everybody I think I'm all set with this part of uh, the uh, home PBX project and next steps are going to be to configure uh, actually configure the software and uh, setting up the uh, Linksys phone adapter thanks for watching